you have to exponentially increase your senses to even comprehend over television what this actually looks and feels like. They just need to get out here. Okay, well, let's tell them about it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure Today. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we are at Rock Creek Lodge, and it is in Duchesne County, just below Upper Stillwater Dam. This place is less than three hours from Salt Lake City, and I've traveled a lot more just to get to a place and it couldn't match this. I mean, the Tetons can't outdo what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> really, it's indescribable. The beauty is just amazing. And you've got meadows, and you've got aspens, mountains. And, and you've got mountains, and you've got water. I mean, you have everything you would imagine in a campsite right here. Well, the Upper Stillwater Dam has one of the two unique overflows in the state. I've been to 109 lakes in this state, and two of them are just right over the top. Upper Stillwater is one of them. If it's overflowing, you really must make the trip to come see it. And it's about to happen. It could be happening any day now. So you might want to make some quick plans to come check this place out. To help you along with that, let's find out a little bit about Rock Creek. Welcome to paradise. Just like it says on the sign out front, it's a paradise. It's like going to a different at world, you know, it's just beautiful. It's not just a distraction. No the distraction distract. becomes your life. The distraction from life becomes your life while you're here. It's beautiful. It was constructed in back in the 30s. The elevation here is right at 8,000. And of course, the farther up you go, it gets up to 10, 13,000 feet. So, and it does make for beautiful scenery. To me, this is Jenny's Lake in the Tetons back in the late 1950s. Yeah. This is so cool. I mean, it's, it's got everything here. And I, I feel like it was Gatlinburg when I was, you know, back in the 70s when my parents brought us up there. It's but honey, smoking. Gatlinburg does smoking. not have mountains that high. There is ATV trails here, but you have to be on a designated trail. A lot of hiking, a lot of photographers come up here and take pictures. and. And a lot of people just like to come up here and have a picnic and just relax. A lot of people come just to watch the hummingbirds. We get quite a collection of those. And we, you know, offer camping spots, tent spots, RV. We've cleared a lot of trees so the bigger RVs can get in here. We always come on the, the, the dates where all the groups are gone, so because we want it to be like it is now peaceful and quiet and it's, and it's so nice. It's like the whole place is ours practically. It's and just, we like that. I just love the scenery and I love the people that come up here. Everybody that's come up here has just been so so good and so respectful. They always say we'll be back and they do. They come back. I, I mean I don't know if Gatlinburg was that big of a connection to you but I just I all of a sudden feel invincibly young again. I know, I do too. And the reason why I was so impressed with Gatlinburg because I was raised in Illinois, so I was a flatlander. So that was my first sight of mountains, which is fabulous. And we stayed at a campground like this. It was really beautiful. But this water, Rock Creek, this is mesmerizing. I mean, I could literally sit here all day. It's so beautiful. I come up here and I see the rustic cabins and I'm going, yeah, put me in an old cabin with a wood-burning stove and it's all cozy and old and you have to put on your slippers to go out to the bathroom and everything. And Rhea is more of the, where's the hot tub and uh, no, stuff like that. No, not necessarily. I just oh, yeah, like, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I just like a bathroom and I like a shower. But it's okay because they have those out of the rustic cabin. You, you can do that. So we'll just have to stay here for like a week so we can have a couple days here and a couple days in the rustic and then everybody will be happy. We have refrigerator, microwave, fireplace, we have satellite TV, so you can watch at your leisure on Saturday nights. Okay, she's, she's thank you, we'll pay you for the plug her. later. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. Look at the view! Oh my goodness, beautiful! Stretch back, take a look out the window, enjoy the view. I trust you. What do you think? <laughs> huh? That's pretty nice, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. I'm just going to stay here. What this needs is, this needs five little cowboys and stick horses. <laughs> yes, yes, like when you were a kid. Now they're going to have to come clean the tub because you got your shoes on, girl. Yeah, Stop it. Oh, uh. yeah, this is beautiful. You can even, it's got a skylight so you can look at the trees while you're in the tub. 
Position. Go, Hold just her. go. Go, I'll follow on. you. Come on, we'll go together. Uh, they're gonna knock you down. <laughs> <laughs> she never listens to me. Oh never, never. Okay, honey, I'll come visit you. <laughs> and it does have a little fridge, yeah. and they have electricity. This is the wood burning stove. And you wake up in, in, in my aunt's cabin and it was heated with a wood stove and so it, it's, this is just like complete. All of the wood on the floor oh. and the walls is, is from timber that was timbered from here. Right. Right from this spot. Oh, that does look. Oh, nice. Yeah. I would feel like I was completely cozy in a den in the loft. That's where I'd be sleeping. We got to have this conversation. I'd make you a deal. I'll flip you on whether we stay in the rustic cabin or the fancy cabin. Well, you know what? They're both awesome. I, I really just want to stay here for a week or two. We just have to stay here long enough. so we You'd can... actually stay in this cabin? Yes, absolutely. It's beautiful. For how many days? Oh, at least a week. Okay, you heard it. <laughs> I could. You, you heard it. She just committed herself in front of all of you people that she would actually stay here for a whole week. So, I'm holding you to it. No, I could stay here for the rest of my life. That cabin maybe I a week. I know, and the, and the sound, <laughs> you know, and, and so think of yourself at home, you know, that quiet din in the background, do you hear it? See, that's not a freeway here, that's a stream.